everyone welcome back to the fabrication shop in this episode we're going to be prepping our nose cone and our payload adapter for finishing we've got everything we'll need sitting on our workbench you can see the nose cone and the adapter we've got some 320 grit sandpaper we've got some 220 grit sandpaper we have a little bit of white putty modeling knife and a couple toothpicks and so with that let's get started so we're going to start with our payload adapter there is only this little ring that you see this raised ridge that will appear when we finish our model rocket but if you look and hopefully the camera can pick this up there is an area where the two where the mold comes together and you can see there's a gap there and it's on both sides so to give us a nice finish what we want to do is we want to fill that gap now because this is plastic we really don't want to use the wood filler it's not going to bond to the plastic like it does to the wood so instead of using wood filler we're going to use some white putty anyone who has built plastic models will be familiar with this this is what you use to fill seams on your plastic models to fill gaps things like that and we're going to use it the same way here we're simply going to use a little bit of it to fill the gap in that ring so we'll put just a little bit on our paper we'll take a toothpick and we simply want to fill that gap and as you can see it doesn't take much a couple things about the putty one you do not have an awful lot of working time probably seeing how quickly it started to harden up while we were still applying it to the model the second thing is depending on what type of putty you get it may have a rather strong odor to it so make sure you use this in a well ventilated area so there you can see we've simply filled the gap and we'll let that dry here we have our nose cone uh, unlike the payload adapter this one doesn't have any gaps in it, but what it does have is a raised ridge where the mold came together. Okay, a little bit of plastic seat between the two parts of the mold, and you now have this ridge. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that ridge. For that, we'll take our hobby knife, here I tend to use an older blade because I'm not cutting, I'm scraping. So I'll take it, bring it right down the center to get rid of that ridge line. So you don't need a really sharp knife to do this. If you've got a model knife that you've been using for a while and it just doesn't quite have the sharpness that it used to have, that's the blade that you want to use doing this. And as you rub your finger down the ridge, you'll be able to tell whether you've gotten rid of it or not. Once you have a fairly smooth surface, then what we want to do is we want to sand it. 
and we're going to sand the whole nose cone, not just the ridge line, but we're going to sand the whole nose cone so that we get a nice, smooth, even finish. We'll start off with our 220 grit paper. Okay, as you sand, look at where the line used to be. If you can still see that line against the rest of the nose cone, go ahead and sand it down some more so that you get rid of that. You want your nose cone to look identical no matter where or how you're looking at it. Once we have our nose cone to where it's even all the way around, the 220 grit is like a rough sandpaper on plastic. So we'll come back with our 320 and we'll sand the whole thing down and get it nice and smooth. So at this stage, we have our nose cone sanded down. It's ready for primer. We don't need to go any finer sandpaper than the 320. When we put the primer on, it's going to be a filler primer. So it will fill up the light scratches left by the sandpaper. And then we'll get a nice smooth finish from that. We now have our payload adapter. And you can see where we've got the filler in the two areas where it was gouged in. So take a little bit of sandpaper. This is 220 sandpaper. We use that first. And then I'll finish it off And basically just use your fingers to figure out if it's smooth and when you got it the way you like it you're done. So we are at a stage now where our nose cone has been sanded smooth, our payload adapter has had the gaps filled and sanded smooth, and our body tube and fins have been filled and sanded smooth. In our next episode we'll look at starting to do the primer to get this thing ready for paint. So until next time, take care.